Hello, good people. Hello. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Saturday, June 24th, 2017. I am not going to be before you very long because for those outside of Southern California, if you're on the East Coast or if you're in Europe and Africa, South America, when you watch me, we have this huge county fair every year called the Del Mar Fair. It is fantastic. Hi, Heather. Yes, you know about the Del Mar. So I'm headed to Del Mar Fair like in a few minutes. <laughs> so I needed to come on so my consistency would not be altered. Okay, when we have things to do and we allow the fun stuff to get in the way, okay, we have to do better than that. So I am I am bringing my perspective before I head to Del Mar Fair. Let me just tell you, I don't eat like um, waffle, I think they're called waffle cones. That's not the name. So, you know, all the, it, it's a big old, it's a big old waffle cone of ice cream and it's got nuts and cherries and okay I don't do all that I do not waste any space on that kind of junk I preserve all my tummy space for their smoked turkey legs oh oh my goodness those things are just beyond delicious and I wait every year I don't care if I don't I don't I'm not a big rider I don't care about riding anything I go for the turkey legs <laughs> Oh, that's where I'm headed in a few moments. But I wanted to share um, share this thought for you with you rather. I actually someone told me this, and then later I actually read it somewhere. It says, if you want to hide something from a man, put it in a book. If you want to hide something from a man, a person, a woman, put it in a book. And it sort of made me angry when I first, when the first person first told me that because I knew that there was truth to that. I knew that there was truth to the fact that we do not read as we should. We being people in general, we're not big readers. Um, but if you look at the difference between truly successful people and those who are just making it in life and going good people, I'm not talking about the person, but I'm talking about levels of success and levels of achievement and, and reaching their goals. The difference oftentimes is the amount of books that they have read. Reading enlarges, expands, widens our horizons, our awareness levels. And and so too often I run into adults who do not, I mean, literally do not read. They don't, they just don't read. I mean, other than maybe reading a recipe book or maybe reading, um, you know, if you get a piece of mail, but, but they don't read. And the danger in that is that sometimes we can stop growing if we don't have anything that feeds us on a consistent basis, we, we can stop growing. We can limit our capabilities. And so what I wanna encourage you is if you have young people in your life, children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and they are just starting that, um, that stage in life where they are reading, and you may have heard, I don't wanna read. I'm just gonna encourage you to not give up and keep trying. Take away that video game, turn off that TV for a minute, because the TV doesn't even mandate that you use your imagination. If I read you a book about a wolf with fangs and, and you know, scary eyes, okay, you have to use your imagination to see that wolf. So I'm going to encourage us to, to not give up on the child, on the young person, on the teenager who is saying, I don't like to read. I, you know, I just don't read. Even in school, I don't read. I might skim. They have not found a genre that they like to read yet. That's, that's what I'm believing the problem is. They just haven't found what they enjoy reading because we don't have to beg young people to do anything that they enjoy. We don't have to beg them to come to the basketball games. If, 
you know, we're going to Big Mama's house and they love her cooking. We don't have to beg them to come to dinner on time. We don't have to beg them to go see the latest movie because they enjoy doing that. We don't have to beg them to hang out with their friends at the roller rink. They enjoy doing that. So when you find what they love, find a book to, to entice them to read. We just have too many adults that don't read. And the problem with that, another problem with that is they're going to end up being your boss. They're going to end up being your supervisor, your manager, okay? But they stopped growing years before. So, so I am encouraging you today to pick up a book. All of us, pick up a book. Okay, nothing dramatic. I tell young people all the time, chunk it. Set your alarm for 15 minutes. Chunk it in 15-minute chunks and you're done. And then that taste, that hunger for more of what you're reading, if... If it was something interesting to you, will ignite? I think so. Okay. Listen, thank you for joining me. I am off to the Del Mar Fair. Thank you, Dee and Baron Taylor. I'm so grateful that you have arrived safely and arrived to welcome an, a new niece, great niece, into this world. For all who are listening, I am asking that you take real good care of yourselves. Okay. Until next time, go pick up a, pick up a book.